Welcome back. Your time now 948. Perhaps you've heard about a carotid artery, but where is it and what are the dangers of buildup from cholesterol and fat? Dr. Wong with Spectrum Health Medical Group explains, and we have more on some free screenings too, so make sure you get a pen handy. The heart pumps blood towards the brain yeah. through the carotid arteries and everybody have two carotid arteries and one on each side of the neck. Uh, as it comes up towards the neck, just before the jawline, it splits into two. One goes to the brain and uh, one goes to the face. The first stop before the brain is back actually uh, the back of your uh, eye, which is the retina, mm -hmm. and that's the first branch. And then after that, um, you know, the, uh, the carotid artery in the brain will go to uh, supply blood to the front of the brain, uh, the middle, and the back part of the brain. The front of the brain basically controls your personality and your speech. The middle part controls your sensory and also your motor mus muscular function, and the back part of your brain actually controls your vision uh, and uh, just to be you know clear that um, the right side of the brain control the left side of the body the left side of the brain control the right side of the body so the neurons crisscross or the nerve crisscross in the back of the neck Carotid artery disease that we're talking about today is actually called a carotid artery stenosis. Uh, it's a narrowing of the carotid artery, um, you know, that could block up the artery and create, you know, and causes a stroke. Just imagine, you know, um, the uh, Grand River flowing very nicely down, you know, stream and suddenly splits. Mm -hmm. As soon as it splits, you could see, you know, the flow is haphazard. Um, there's a lot of a different current back and forth and hitting both sides of the banks. And this is, you know, the life situation in your carotid artery because just before the jaw, uh, the carotid artery splits. And it's this haphazard flow that created injury to your artery. Mm -hmm. And uh, throughout, you know, this injury, uh, the body tried to repair the artery um, by forming scar tissue. And if the condition is right, you know, you have high, a lot of high cholesterol, high fatty, you know, acids in your blood, it will continue to deposit. And that's what we call a plaque, you know, formed by cholesterol, uh, fatty acids, and also calcium. Throughout all the studies, uh, we identify people who are at high risk of having carotid artery disease. For example, um, you know, age. Um, any, uh, every decade after age 55, your uh, risk of the stroke doubles. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and also, uh, people who smoke uh, have a, a history of uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol level, um, also a poor diet habits. Mm -hmm. um, uh, also obes obesity, um, uh, people who doesn't, you know, move around or exercise a lot, mm -hmm. um, and poor diet choices, um, and also a, a family history of uh, people who have stroke, a mini stroke, or a heart disease. Uh, those are the risk factors, that, you know, for the carotid artery disease. Uh, basically, we offer three um, different type of screening, and it's free of charge to patients who have who are high risk. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, we talked about, uh, is basically you know it doesn't involve any needles; uh, it just involves some gel and ultrasound machine. Uh, for the carotid artery screening, we just put some gel and both sides of the neck, and then use the ultrasound machine mm -hmm. to look at see uh, the artery, see whether there's any plaque. Buildup, and if there's a significant plaque buildup, not everybody needs surgery, uh, but they need to be followed, you know, year after year or so or so often. The second uh, screening that we offer is uh, peripheral arterial disease screening, which we call short form PAD. Uh, it's basically um, uh, blocking of the arteries to the legs. The most common symptoms initially is having problem walking. So a patient will basically having problem walking even a block, and they're noticing uh, one or both of the calves in, in the leg start to tense up and they can't walk because of cramps. Mm -hmm. And once they stop, uh, the cramp will go away and they could continue. But this will be very reproducible day after day we're having you know, walking problems. Mm -hmm. And so we'll basically use uh, blood pressure cuffs and ultrasound machine uh, to measure blood pressure of the legs um, and take a look of the artery. If there's significant, significant blockage, obviously, you know, we could follow it or actually offer intervention. Okay. And then uh, the last screening that we offer is 
uh, called the uh, abdominal aortic uh, aneurysm screening, uh, AAA, uh, what we call, and it's basically an enlargement of the uh, big artery in the abdomen. Uh, it's the wall is weakened, so it starts to bulge out, it increases in size. Uh, once we detect that, then you have to be followed every so often, and one, once it reach a certain size, we have to start fixing it. And for more information or to get in touch with Dr. Wong, you can call 616-267-8700 or visit Spectrum Health Medical Group online at shmg.org. And as mentioned, Spectrum has those free vascular screenings all around West Michigan. The next one is Wednesday, February 18th at West Pavilion Urgent Care at 6150 Wilson Avenue Southwest in Wyoming, along with one at Zeeland Community Hospital that day at 8333. Felt Street. For more information and find out if you qualify for these screenings, call 877-495-2626. And we'll be right back with